we're standing outside what used to be the Middlesex University Cat Hill campus. campus is located in Cockfosters. It was originally the Hornsey College of Art founded in 1880. In the late 1970s the campus was extended to become the Faculty of Art and Design for the then Middlesex Polytechnic. Today art, design, electronic arts and cinematics are located at Cat Hill. Nikki Mannon has been finding out some of the memorable moments from the staff and students as we say goodbye Cat Hill. What would you say is your most memorable moment in Cat Hill? Well, one of my most memorable moments is 9-11. Uh, I remember I'd only just started working here in the March 2001 and I was, we were looking, everyone was in the office looking on the internet yeah. and all of a sudden we heard about a, a plane crashed into one of the tower blocks and gradually over the course of the next few minutes we realised something more serious was going on and we all started watching the television mm. and there was a sort of, a sort of really sort of strange sort of atmosphere for a couple of days. I mean because I could say something like walking on the roof and getting in trouble <laughs> which is probably one of my most memorable moments because that was fun. Not fun for, for the security. But um, yeah, yeah I was walking on the roof in Cat Hill once that was quite a memorable moment. I think my most memorable moment would have to be when I discovered that we had a cat here. Tell us more about this cat. He was a big black and white cat who used to be here every morning on my desk waiting for me. And he would have breakfast here and he would, if it was quiet, he would sit at the desk with me most of the day. Every day? More or less, yes. Oh my. my most memorable moment was my first day meeting everyone and getting introduced to the studios and my tutors. I would say my most memorable moment would be doing the fashion shows here like um, doing the internal show at Hendon and doing shows in the main hall as well, like organising them ourselves with our class and just like sorting all that out, that's, that's great. Probably the events day this year um, and the performances that took place. Really the fi final degree show um, at the end of the year and what, what, what talent that this university can produce. Uh, except for my like, first day of meeting everybody, I'd say he's just working in the studios with everyone, I'm just having quite a lot of fun whilst doing it. My most memorable moment is probably seeing Matthew Randall, who is now uh, graduated breaking sticks and measuring the distance of the sticks and me thinking, that's pretty strange. Oh my dear God, probably the, when I started the uni uh, the first year when everyone gathered around and they're starting to know each other and blah, 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 blah. You know, the very first childhood memories. I think, I mean, there are a lot of memorable moments that I've had at Cat Hill, actually. It is a fantastic campus to work at. Uh, and I think it's one that people enjoy visiting, students really enjoy being at. Middlesex University has been reducing the number of campuses dotted around the London North Circular Road in an effort to cut inefficiencies by consolidating much of the university's teaching, learning and research at the flagship campus in Hendon. Its new estate strategy, which has already cost £150 million, will eventually consolidate the university at three main sites in North London. We want to find out what makes the campus different and what will be missed at Cat Hill. What do you think makes Cat Hill campus different from the other campuses? I think it's, it's quite unique because here just art and design is taught and so there's all the students come from a similar background, all the students are quite you know, sort of laid back, easy going and uh, yeah. not demanding, friendly and that's what I like about it. I, I think that is difficult to replicate in a much bigger sort of campus. Oh, well, apart from the cat who's gone missing anyway, um, <laughs> but, um, just the old idea. I like the fine art area. I'm very much with the fine art um, sort of things. I like yeah. this fine art stuff and all that. So. It is just for art and design students. And um, the studios feel really lived in. And I like the paint splatters all over the walls. 
I think I quite like the layout. The way it, it was confusing at first, but then once you've got the hang of it, you can easily get to other places and you stumble across other work quite a lot, which is nice. Um, the whole feel of the campus, you know, it's quite a unique campus. And it's quite old, 70s build, I think, 60s build. So. Yeah. yeah, probably the lake, actually, the turtles. Terrible. I mean, obviously, um, each campus has got its own atmosphere and its own kind of character. Um, Cat Hill, obviously, is um, you know, populated by art and design students and media students. Uh, so that creates its own atmosphere, uh, which is a creative atmosphere, um, which is you know, very enjoyable and, again, is something that we will certainly take to the new building. The things that I've enjoyed most are the sort of exhibitions that we do, yeah. uh, seeing the student work. The degree shows are always fantastic. Um, but a real high point would have been the sort of Cat Hill Summer Festival, as we called it last year, which was yeah. the free barbecue. Um, and we had lots of uh, kind of exhibitions as well running around that kind of time. And it was fantastic just seeing all the students enjoying themselves and enjoying the work. And is that one of the things you'd miss about this campus? I don't think we'll miss that about the campus because I think we'll be taking it with us. Uh, I think we've got lots of events planned already for the Hendon campus and I think we're going to really liven up the Hendon campus. Well, what would you say you would miss about this particular campus? Well, in some ways the atmosphere is unique. Um, it will be a different atmosphere in Hendon. But I still think it will be exciting in Hendon. It will just be different. And of course you've got the beautiful surroundings here. Is there anything in particular about this environment that sticks out in your mind particularly? I think we'll all miss the terrapins in the <laughs> lake, you know, so obviously we can't take the terrapins with us, so I think, yeah, yeah I mean the environment and the trees, but again, uh, where the new building is in Hendon, it backs onto a park called the Grove, so I hope we can kind of recreate that atmosphere there as well. Well, I definitely miss the atmosphere here, and I'll miss the setting a lot, because it, this campus is sort of a bit different to most university yeah. campuses, it's sort of set at the end the Piccadilly line in the sort of country, sort of countryside, mm, and yeah. it's not like being a normal, you know, a normal university. Yeah, it's you definitely a, get the country feel here. Yeah, it's quite, and I miss the departments because I'm changing some of my subjects over when I go to Hendon, right. I'm looking after the art subjects. Yeah. So, and I miss the people and the caretakers and all the surrounding shops. Just the atmosphere of the campus. I love it here. I love that it's kind of a small, enclosed kind of community space and it's very green and, you know, it's, it's still close, it's still in London technically, but there's so much, um, there's so much more kind of atmosphere. The fact that it's quite small and it's full of art students so everybody can work together and inspire each other and you meet like-minded people, I think, quite easily. Over the past five years, the University has been consolidating many of its activities under the Hendon campus. As a result, some of the older campuses, notably Tottenham and Enfield, were closed in 2005 and 2008 retrospectively, while Hendon received substantial investment on facilities and infrastructure to accommodate new students and programmes. We want to find out if any of the staff and students know the reasons why the campus is closing and how they feel about it. Quite sad actually. Yeah. Because, well, you know, I like coming here, I've been coming here for the last ten years. On the team, the library team is not going to be the same, it's all being split up and yeah. into different floors at Hendon. So I miss the sort of community, you know, the community spirit and the sort of the uniqueness of Cat Hill. I'm not happy. Oh. No, I'm, I, I'm quite gutted that the campus is closing. I mean, it won't affect me because I won't be here, but it's kind of sad that I won't be able to visit and kind of walk through the halls and see the memories that. I have here, because, um, you know, Hendon is cool, but Cat Hill is special. Well, obviously it's a sad, sad day for the university and obviously for the school, but in, in, we've got to look forward, and you've got to look forward to a really magnificent new camp, new school at the Hendon campus, you know, with all the advanced, um, you know, technology that all the students can use and the facilities 
and it's, it can only be good for it can only be good for the students in, you know for Middlesex University in the 21st century. I'm a bit sad about it really yeah it is a bit disappointing but um, at the same time it's a new opportunity for a new building maybe new equipment so I see things positively I guess. We've all enjoyed working here and it has yeah. you know the students have produced some fantastic work over the years um, but you know it's an opportunity to have a new building with state-of-the-art facilities uh, the new building's got that kind of more of a centre to it, Cahill's quite spread out so there are real advantages to moving to the new building. I think it's quite sad because I quite like having all the art students together but I won't really know until I get to try to see what Hendon's like. But. I'm disappointed that they're doing this. I don't know why Cat Hill's been closed down, to be honest. It's not really been explained. I think because Middlesex want to consolidate all the uh, campuses and uh, sell the land and make money, which is, makes sense in this day and age, you know? I have no idea. I, well, probably someone told about building flats or whatever in that place, but I don't know for sure, probably gossip. Well, ever since I've been here, the campuses, they've had lots of different campuses around London, Enfield, Tottenham, Bounds Green, Wood Green, yeah. and they've all been closed. And I think Middlesex University executive wanted them all centralised into one big campus, Hendon. That's why they've shifted a lot of the departments out there and making new buildings. Because it's been sold, um, and I think because Middlesex want to have one, just one major campus in one particular area, not having little bits spread about the place, it's cost mostly. The University have decided to invest in a new building, um, which is an £80 million project, and that's being built on the Hendon campus. Um, and it is um, a real sign of faith in the kind of things that we do, uh, and shows that they enjoy the sort of work that we produce and our students produce. Um, and the University is centralising, uh, as it has been over a number of years, and reducing uh, the number of campuses, so we'll be on the central campus in Hendon. In March 2011, the Cat Hill campus was sold to the l &Q Housing Association as part of the university's plans to centralise its courses in Hendon. The campus is now closed and its students have been moved to a new £80 million building on the university's Hendon campus. This is Amy Christopherson as we say goodbye Cat Hill. I'll be moving to the new building, as will all the staff who are here and some of the staff, the media staff from Trent Park as well. We had a cat. That was pretty cool, the cat hill. <laughs> we won't have that in Hendon. I'm moving to Hendon.